Okay, children. So this video will be all about basic accounting terms. Basic accounting terms are like the A B C D of accounts. अब इन terms को नहीं समझोगे तो कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा. Okay. And of course, initially you will find it a bit difficult because they are new to you. But just like you, when you learn a new language, the new things you have to learn. Similarly, basic accounting terms are the language of accounts. So, इसको learn कर लेते हैं. And I've tried to make it interesting for you in my PPT. So let's start with it. Basic accounting terms. Transaction. Now it is a dealing in money or money's worth. For example, sale of goods. It can be a cash transaction or a credit transaction. So transaction मतलब whenever there is a change. इन यू नो हैंड्स ऑफ मनी किसी को पैसा देना है लेना है राइट सो एनी चेंज इन द फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द बिजनेस ठीक है पैसा आ रहा है या जा रहा है यू हैव टू रिकॉर्ड दैट एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड अ ट्रांजेक्शन एग्जाम्पल वेन वी सेल गुड्स वॉट हैपन्स वी नीड टू गिव द गुड्स गुड्स हैविंग अ मॉनिटरी वैल्यू यस एंड वी इन रिटर्न वॉट डू वी गेट We get cash, so we sell the goods for cash. So that is a transaction. But sometimes we also sell on credit. Credit मतलब when I am not you know getting the cash immediately. I have sold it to my customer and the customer says कि कल देता हूँ. Yes, you have also done that, children. Sometimes you go to the nearby grocery shop where you you know have a personal touch or contact with that person. So you just go and buy and say, "ठीक है भाई, account में लिख लेना." Yes, so I will give it tomorrow. And some people you know buy groceries even on a monthly basis. पूरे महीने जितना भी requirement होता है, they go get it from the store and finally make the payment at the end of the month. तो वो जो ग्रोसर है जो तुमको दे रहा है पैसा एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग पे दे रहा है दैट ओके आई एम सेलिंग यू द गुड्स टुडे यू आर नॉट पेइंग मी कैश राइट नाउ बट यू विल पे मी कैश लेटर आई एम नॉट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द गुड्स फॉर फ्री दैट्स व्हाट ही नोज राइट यू विल आल्सो पे हिम द मनी लेटर ऑन ऑन अ लेटर डेट दो टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन आर कॉल्ड क्रेडिट ट्रांजेक्शन और जहां कैश ऑलरेडी दे चुके हैं इट इज कॉल्ड अ कैश ट्रांजेक्शन number 2 that is event a happening as a result of a transaction okay now when i purchase goods a purchasing of goods is also a transaction goods are there business mein mere paas paisa chala gaya right now those goods i will have to sell also suppose i could not sell entirely to thoda sa goods mere paas bach bhi gaya stock mein hmm? so I can tell you an event is again inventory. Inventory मतलब stock जो बच गया मेरे पास वो एक event है क्यों Because it's a result of a transaction. Yes. If at all I make a profit or a loss, that is also an event because that is the ultimate result of all transactions put together at the end of the year, right? So event and a transaction. I hope that's clear. Now, if you see the picture there, what is happening? Somebody is making a payment, and the other one is giving some written document, some document to the person. Now, these documents are called vouchers, also source documents. Source documents क्या होता है? कभी भी transaction होता है ना, तो उसको support करने के लिए कुछ written में चाहिए. Suppose you go to buy a refrigerator or a washing machine. or an air conditioner you will go to the shop you will see the various products and then jo pasand aayega wo lena hai after that what happens you selected the product then comes the payment time you either pay the entire amount down there or maybe you pay in installments but what will the shopkeeper give you he will give you something in writing it can be a cash memo cash memo hota hai jab aap cash payment karte hain it can be a bill or invoice and on in other words invoice is the summary of whatever is the financial transaction all about tumhare product ka details likha rehta hai usme kitne mein becha yes kitna payment hua hai kitna baki hai 
and the signature of the cell. All this is there in the invoice. If you haven't seen an invoice, please go home. Uh, I mean, just ask your parents to just show you a bill of any product that they have purchased. And just notice that what is written in it. Okay? Now, these source documents are very important which establish that a transaction has taken place. This is proof that in this shop, in this date, this was bought in this Correct? So, these vouchers are very important because our entries will be based on these source documents. Moving on to the next slide. Purchases and sales. Of course. Normal way me to me sab pata hai what is the meaning of purchase when we buy goods and sales meaning when we sell goods. Right? You all have been to the market. So now buying and selling together is called trading. Alright? There might be purchases returns or sales returns. Agar tumko koi product pasan nahi aaya hai. Right? Or the product is defective maybe. Kya fir kuch aur manga tha kuch aur de diya. What will you do in that case? Obviously, you will go back to the shop and return that. That would be purchase return for you. Okay? And uh, if you have traded online, if at all you have got, you know, your things from Mintra, Jibong, all those, you know, internet uh, uh, the uh, commercial sites, you also know that you can return goods through uh, the site also if you have purchased through the site. Or online paisa account mein aja hai. Right? You will not get cash for that. But your account will be credited. Jahan se paisa diya tha, wahi pe paisa wapas aja tha online trading. Something similar happens in real life purchase return also. Right? In the, uh, when the businesses, you know, sell and purchase goods, returns is usual. Kyunki kabhi na kabhi kuch na kuch defective nikal jata hai ya, you know, it's not as per the appropriate, uh, the specifications. Theek hai? So returns can be uh, return outward and return inward. Outward means when goods are going out. When will goods go out? When you return the goods that you have purchased. When purchase karte hai, goods come in, meaning come to you. And when you return the goods, the goods will leave, meaning it will go out. So it is called return outward. For the seller, it will be sales return and it will be called returns inward. Returns inward means the goods that he had sold, the goods he had given away, gone out. Now it's coming back to him. So it is return inward. Okay. Many of the students get a bit confused between return outward and inward. That's why I told you what is it. Goods are coming back to you, it is return inward. When goods are going out, you are returning the goods and that is return outward for you. Fine. Next slide. Trade creditors and trade debtors. Now, creditors matlab, they are the people from whom the business buys on credit. I just explained to you what is credit, meaning without payment of cash. Therefore, since you have purchased goods, payment to karna hai later date mein, credit pe liya hai, right? Therefore, the business owes money to them. Owes money matlab, dena hai. It's a liability, it's a borrowing. Hmm? Kind of, right? So it's a responsibility of the purchaser to pay to the respective person from whom he has purchased the goods. Wo ho gai trade creditors. Okay? Trade debtors us ka ulta. They are entities to whom goods are sold on credit. A purchase credit mein kare ho, sale bhi karna padega credit mein kabhi kabhi. Yes, your customer might not pay you the entire amount. So cash mein nahi hua hai, to credit mein hua hai. So you know, need to remember, no? oh, isko, isko, isko sab credit mein becha hai, inse paisa lena hai. So you need to make a record of that. Who are your trade debtors? Varna tum bhi bhul jau ga, aur wo credit debtor to pakka hi bhul jayega paisa dena. And therefore, money is receivable from them. Since you have sold goods to them on credit, they are supposed to pay you money. So, a chota sa question. If you can see that picture there, one person is paying the money to the other. Who is the creditor? Who is the debtor? Come on. Quickly. Tell me the one who is on the left, who is giving the money. Who is it? De creditor or debtor? Correct. The debtor. Debtor will pay to the creditor. So the man on the right 
is the creditor. He is supposed to receive money from the man on the left who is the debtor. Clear? Next slide. Assets. Chalo. Good. Now, um, assets matlab any property or legal right owned by the entity which will give cash or other benefit in future. Tumhare paas kya kya assets hai? Your intelligence is your asset. Your good health is your asset. Kyun? Your knowledge is also an asset. Why? Tell me. Because all these things will help you get a good job, uh, be happy in life, you know, make good friends, decide on very important things on your life. All these are very important for you. So these are your assets to make you live a good life. So assets are something which are beneficial for us. Jisse kuch fayda hoga hum logon ko. Right? So from a business point of view, assets are the properties owned by the business. I have shown you a lot of examples here. Cash. Paisa asset hai. Because usko karch karke tum apne liye kuch kareed sakte ho. Yes? You can get returns uh, of money's worth by spending cash. Plant. Plant meaning not your tree baby plant. We are talking about the factories here. Plant and machines, big machines. These are all assets for you. How? Because this is what you will use to make products. Isn't it? Goods tumare kaise banenge? Machines se production hoga. Therefore machines are important for production. Goods banega nahi. Toh sell kaise hoga? Sell kaise hoga? The profit kaise hoga? So that's how the assets are plant, cash, machine. Investments. Investments if you understand. If you have money and you put it somewhere, ठीक है? किसी business में लगाया है या किसी trade में लगाया है, उससे तुमको returns मिलेंगे, फायदा हो। जैसे कि अगर आप bank में fixed deposit करते हो, हम्म, तो पैसा एक amount के लिए रख दिया bank के पास। Bank क्या करेगा? उसको पैसे उसमें add करके तुमको return करेगा। so your investments grow. If you see the picture of where a man is watering the plants here, right? See, money is growing on trees. <laughs> so if we could have that kind of money plant, it would be really great. But we do have investments in lieu of that. So investments, when you put a little money, slowly your investments become more. Your money invested becomes more. And that is why investments are assets for us. All right? Then, debtors. Now, debtors are people we just uh, have read who are supposed to pay us money. So, they are assets for me. Unse paisa lena hai. Correct? And, uh, see your computers, the machines, the factory building. All these are also assets for you. Thank you. Next one. Types of assets. Now, types of assets. We can classify the assets as fixed assets. Current assets, wasting assets, fictitious assets. Fixed assets matlab, ye ek amount jo maine kharch kiya, asset purchase karne ke ye ab lock ho gaya for a number of years. Jaise ki, uh, you people uh, buy furniture. Suppose you have purchased a sofa set. Ab wo sofa set aisa to nahi hai na ki ek saal mein fir khatam ho gaya sofa chalo next year fir naya sofa laenge. It's not like that. The sofa set will help you, uh, you know, have your seating arrangement in place for many number of years. So, fixed assets for business are something like that. Land, building, motor vehicles, furniture that it has purchased is going to last for a number of years. And these are not purchased with an objective to sell off. Isko isliye nahi karitte hai ki aaj karida aur kal bej diya. For example, we were talking about machines. Machines are used to increase the earning capacity of the business because they help in production, right? So we need a lot of infrastructure, a lot of assets, which we need to earning capacity. If you have a shop, a small shop, so you need a shop place for it. Or you can buy it or rent it. If you buy it, you can buy it. Agar kharir liya, matlab, it's a fixed asset for you because that shop is a property for you, okay? Which is going to be there for a long number, uh, uh, a number of years for you, yes? Then, you also need furniture in that. Tumko racks lagane padenge to display the goods. You need a sitting place for yourself, your staff, your customer, 
तो ये फर्नीचर भी चाहिए सो ऑल दो थिंग्स आर इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर यू यू हैव मेड इन योर फिक्स एसेट्स ओके सो दीज हेल्प यू अर्न रेवेन्यू मतलब पैसा कमाने में हेल्प करते हैं फिक्स एसेट्स फिक्स एसेट्स कैन बी टैंजिबल और इन टैंजिबल यस वेन आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट फर्नीचर इट इज टैंजिबल टैंजिबल मतलब यू कैन सी इट टच इट फील इट इट्स हैज गॉट अ फिजिकल एग्जिस्टेंस इन टैंजिबल एसेट जब हम बात करें तो तुम्हारे एसेट्स मीनिंग गुड हेल्थ गुड हेल्थ यू कैन सी फील टच but of course it is there right so business has certain intangible assets for example goodwill business ka goodwill matlab reputation hota hai market mein ki ye business hai na bahut acha karta hai right so that reputation can you see that no you can't touch feel smell it right can taste it so but still it is there and which is helping you to do better business earn more profit so aisa intangible asset be fixed assets hote hain coming to current assets करंट मतलब शॉर्ट टर्म ओके दीज एसेट्स कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू कैश वेरी क्विकली ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन्वेंट्री डेटर्स शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सबको पैसा में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं वी कैन सेल इट ऑफ एंड वी कैन रिसीव मनी सो करंट एसेट्स आर हेल्ड यूजली फॉर अ शॉर्ट टर्म यूजली फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स ओके मीनिंग वन ईयर कमिंग टू वेस्टिंग एसेट्स वेस्ट मतलब खत्म हो जाना And you all know that the natural resources are limited, like gas, oil, coal, petroleum. Yes, and these get depleted over time. So, if at all you are the owner of a coal mine, you are the owner of wasting assets. Meaning, the coal hamesha ke liye nahi chalega. It will ultimately get exhausted at point of time. Fictitious assets. Fictitious means that they are not real. Uska koi real existence nahi hai. But still, why do we call them assets then? For example, you have incurred a heavy expenditure, maybe on say advertisement. अब advertisement क्या है कोई product तो नहीं है ना जो खरीद के रख लिया Just like a you know piece of machine or a building, नहीं ना Advertisement is, of course, you have spent a lot, and when ads are made, you see them for years, right? Now the benefit of that ad is coming to me for so many years, isn't it? Although I had to pay to the ad agency in this one year, right? तो पैसा तो चला गया पूरा एक ही साथ में ad बनाने में लेकिन उसका benefit हमको काफी साल तक मिल रहा है But so these assets are of course an asset to you. They are helping you earn more because if you make advertisements, your sales increase, right? But they don't have a real existence. The assets because this scope, you add, you know, convert नहीं कर सकते पैसे में. You cannot sell it off. They doesn't. They don't have a market value, isn't it? Once you have spent that on the ad, meaning you have spent it. So such assets which do not have a real concrete existence, which do not have a market value, a resale value, but still they are giving you benefit in future. These are called fictitious assets. Next. Coming to liabilities, ये assets का उल्टा होता है जबकि assets अच्छे हैं हमारे लिए liabilities क्या है An amount an enterprise owes to the outsiders or the proprietors. Okay, meaning the business has taken something from someone, it has to give it back. That is a liability. Correct? What are your liabilities on a personal level? Think about it. What all have you got from your parents, your family, your surroundings, your teachers, your school? What do you owe them? Think about it. Internal liabilities, also termed as capital. The capital is a very important word. Hmm? This is the amount that the owner has invested in the business, meaning for purchasing assets of the enterprise. So, ye business me invest kiya hai. So, business ke hisab se, if you think about it, capital is what. the business has received from the proprietor or the owner so that is called an internal liability because business or owner ek hi baat ho jata hai yes business kiska hai owner ka hai hmm? so owner apne business mein lagaya hai but it is a liability from the point of view of the business because the business has received this amount from the proprietor और बिजनेस का रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है कि ये कैपिटल इंटैक्ट रहे और प्रॉफिट्स हो और ये कैपिटल बढ़े एक्सटर्नल लायबिलिटीज अराइज आउट ऑफ क्रेडिट ट्रांजैक्शंस और लोन टेकन राइट नाउ यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड अ लोन 
लोन मतलब उधार राइट यू हैव टेकन अ बोरोइंग बोरोइंग फ्रॉम सम वन सो यू हैव टू गिव इट बैक अफकोर्स उस पर इंटरेस्ट भी देना पड़ेगा बिकॉज नो बडी अलाउज यू टू टेक हिज और हर मनी फॉर फ्री सो दिज आर एक्सटर्नल लाइबिलिटीज एग्जाम्पल्स वुड बी क्रेडिटर्स बैंक लोन लॉन्ग टर्म लाइबिलिटीज एंड शॉर्ट टर्म लाइबिलिटीज सो एनी लाइबिलिटी कैन बी अ लॉन्ग टर्म और अ शॉर्ट टर्म वन If at all, if you are supposed to pay back the you know uh, liability after twelve months, अगर loan तुमने पांच साल के लिए लिया है, so it's a long term liability. यही loan अगर सिर्फ three months के लिए लिया है, तो ये short term liability हो गया, current liability. Clear? Contingent liability. ये contingent क्या है? The contingent meaning, अगर आपको पता है कि कुछ होने वाला है future में, because of which you might have to pay certain amount to someone. That is called a contingent liability. Of course, नहीं समझ में आया होगा So let us take an example. <laughs> Suppose your friend has borrowed a loan from the, uh, taken a loan from the bank. Okay? So your friend, of course, will have to pay that back to the bank. The bank के पास क्या गारंटी है कि तुम्हारा friend पैसा वापस करेगा Sometimes banks ask for guarantors. एक ऐसे इंसान को लेके आओ जो गारंटी लेगा कि तुमने अगर लोन पे नहीं किया तो वो कर देगा ओके सो द रिस्क ऑफ बैंक इज रिड्यूस बिकॉज देर इज अ गारंटर नाउ इफ यू आर द गारंटर डू यू हैव टू पे दैट अमाउंट टू द बैंक फॉर श्योर नॉट रियली इफ योर फ्रेंड विल नॉट पे देन यू विल पे तो ये इफ जो है ना यही है ये कंटिजेंट लाइबिलिटी का बेसिस Meaning, it is uncertain whether you have to pay or not pay. Maybe you have to pay if your friend doesn't pay, or maybe your friend pays and you don't have to pay. So these type of liabilities, which are not yet really a liability for you, might arise in future, depending on certain happening of certain event. Event मतलब इधर event क्या है? Friend paying the loan, friend not paying the loan. Correct? So that is dependent on the event. So such liabilities are called contingent liabilities, which might arise in future. Clear about that? So that is all about liabilities. So this brings us to the end of part one of basic accounting terms. I hope all these terms are clear to you. Please go back and you know have a look at them again because you know children. Without understanding the accounting terms properly, you will not understand what I am speaking. You know, it will. If I start speaking in French, German, or Latin, which I don't know, but still I am saying. कि अगर मैं ये languages use करूँगी तो मुझे कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा, right? Of course, तो मैं भी नहीं समझ में आएगा, मुझे भी नहीं समझे. But a basic accounting terms है जो मुझे समझ में आता है. I want you to understand, but you don't know. So how will I communicate to you? So this is the accounting language. So basic accounting terms, बिल्कुल तुम्हारे दिमाग में एच हो जाने चाहिए राइट यू शुड बी थरो विद दिस अकाउंटिंग टर्म सो गो लर्न दैन थैंक यू